Hey guys, in this episode we are going to do everything that involves grass. So here we are, we're going to, we're at a job board, just so you can see. We just Any job board, they all do the same, they all offer the same. We're going to enter the job board, there's a South Lawn mission, and we're going to accept it by hitting the accept button. Alright, so I will meet you guys at the South Lawn in the tractor here in just a few minutes. Alright, so we're going, we're here at the field to cut. We're going to lower the mower, turn it on. And we're going to cut. Now, I've only had the money to buy the front because it's pretty expensive. The other piece is like 50000 Now, this is, uh, it runs just like, uh, just like 2013 did. You don't have to worry about speed again, just like all the other parts of the game. You just hold the throttle. It'll automatically slow you down. You don't have to get every single bit of the field, but you do need to get most of it. The best way to tell if you've cut is the yellow flowers will be gone. So I like in this field, because it's all fenced in, I'll kind of skirt the outside edge once and then start going back and forth, back and forth getting as much of it as I can. Now as you can see out there I've already got I've got a tether and a wind rower for the next part and that's unnecessary you don't have to have that but it's uh it, it works out to be about two minutes maybe three minutes worth of work and end up getting you know two or three thousand dollars for, for collecting the grass and then going and selling it. Plus you can use it later if you manage to uh, if I could figure out a way to save it. As far as uh, you know, doing it this way, you really can't save it. There's a... Uh, you could bail it and then save the bales, but then again, bailing technology is pretty dadgum expensive too. So, we're just cutting it, picking it up, or well, we'll cut it and then we will uh, tether it to make it dry faster and then we'll windrow it into a couple rows and then we'll just pick it up with a uh, forger wagon all of which you know it's it's part of the game it's not a very lucrative thing anymore which is good so doing these missions really doesn't hamper or halter or what not your game very much at all it's I think the most that I've gotten off of this field is nine thousand right at nine thousand dollars for for doing it and uh, right now I've only got like three minutes left two and a half minutes or so so I might might fail but you get the general idea now if I had the double or the the double header on the back I would finish this a lot faster, but again, it's like fifty thousand dollars. And as you can see up there, I've already spent a bunch of my money just buying the, the the implements needed to cut. But I've got a bunch of grain and stuff to sell, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell, and I'm going to get the rear. And you'll make that fifty thousand back over about six cuttings. Now, the jobs are a little different in this game. They don't just pop up. You know, hey, here's a job. You want to go do it? You have to actually go to a work order board, which I'll show you here after I'm done. Um, and the work order board has, you know, random two or three jobs. Now, every work order board seems to be tied together. So it doesn't matter which one you go to, or at least doesn't appear to matter which one you go to. You just go to any work order board, and if there's a job available, it'll be listed. And it's just like the old ones, except there'll be two or three jobs now there might be a mowing job and two hauling jobs or there might be three hauling jobs or you know two mowing jobs and a hauling job it's just it's random as far as the uh the option that most people set the work orders to be you know done every two minutes every five ten whatever um, i have not seen how that really modifies it i think what that does is that when all the work orders are gone or they time out, it's that period of time and then more reappear. Not every two minutes new work orders appear. 
because I watched a board once and it had a mission on there at six minutes or nine minutes and it literally took the nine minutes before that mission disappeared. When the mission timed out, it, uh, it, it disappeared. And then when all three missions had timed out, a couple minutes later, there were three new missions back. So you just gotta keep checking. I parked a, a tractor by the work order board and just left it there. And uh, as you can tell, there's, there's a lot more to mowing than there used to be. And farming in the 2013, you'd be done by now. With as much as we've mowed, you'd be done. And this is only gonna, again, it's only gonna make us about nine grand. Now, although it is a little bit faster than farming, it's uh, it's not, <coughs> excuse me, it's not, it's not the loophole that it used to be financially. It used to be you could just sit and do four or five farming or mowing missions and then go buy a new tractor. It's not that lucrative anymore. You know, there it goes. So I got 86, 88, 90. Eh. It's 9,000 bucks or right at it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish finish mowing because the grass doesn't disappear as you look. It's another big change for 2013. 2013, all your profit, all the grass just disappeared after the mission was done. And this one, it all stays here. <clears throat> so you can you have the choice. You can either pick it up or you can leave it. And if you leave it and another mission comes up here, all this grass will still be here. And it makes it really hard to... Uh, to see the uh, the grass for the next mission. So I'm just gonna cut it all down and then pick it all up, make a little bit of money off of it. I've got a, uh, my, I've got other stuff going on on the farm right now, but uh, this is uh, what I wanted to show in part of this video was some of the missions, basic, basically concentrate on them. I, uh, I do not have the money yet for front end loader. They're like 80 grand for the cheap one and 160 for the decent one. And man, you slide all around in this grass. But that's good enough as far as cutting is concerned, so let's pick our mower up. Turn it off if it's not. Yeah, turn it off. So we'll come out here, we'll, uh, we'll drop our mower off, hook up to this tether. This tether inside, and then make some right, make some rows. Best way that I found to do the tether is to just line up like so, because you're in a fenced-in area, and then just do rows. Do one row all the way around the outside. All right, let's unfold it. Do one row all the way around the whole outside, and then. Um, lower it and then let's turn it off and it, they really really ramped up the graphics for the tether let me back out some look at that doesn't that look nice it really looks like it's doing something like a real tether does but uh, I'll tether all the way around the outside like so follow lead with your tractor you got to ask one thing it will follow your tractor almost perfectly so you just want to kind of lead with the tractor and it'll tether behind. So this basically, this video turned into not only a, uh, not only a job board mission video, but a grass cutting video too. This will now go ahead and include all the tethering and, and everything else that's involved in all this. And I'm not going to make everybody watch all this, so I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to finish tethering, and uh, I'll come back and then we'll windrow it. So I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. So I've brought the windrower in here and I've lowered it and unfolded it and now I'm going to turn it on. And it pretty much does exactly what it did in 13. It just makes all the grass, sucks it all up into a row. Again, it's going to follow the tractor and there I got just a little bit too close to the fence but it'll push itself off the fence, fortunately. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my best to get everything that I can and go all the way around the outside again. And then I'll start going up and down, up and down. Because trying to pick it up, oh, too close. Yeah, I'm not the best at it. <laughs> I've never been too great at the whole driving thing. 
but uh because I get to watching the implement in the back instead of watching the uh watching the tractor. But um yeah, I'll finish this and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, now we're back with the uh, Pottinger forging wagon and I'm going to lower the pickup which drops the front there. You can see that little piece drop up and down. And that lets it put puts it into let's get ready to suck stuff up mode. Then you hit X to turn it on. And basically this will closely follow the wagon or the tractor, but not perfectly. So you just gotta kinda in the straight rows it'll follow. And you see it's picking up grass. Everything's great. You just kinda gotta drive over it. On the corners, you gotta kinda go off a little, a little over, and then bring it back. This uh this tractor is really, really difficult to drive during all this because I don't have a weight on the front of it. The front of it's wanting to lift up off the ground and slide all over the place. You just pick up it, pick it up as best you can. You're not going to get all of it. You can always do the whole run back and forth and all that other junk, which I will end up doing to grab the last of the bits that I miss. And then I'll come over that and grab some of that, and we'll turn down this way. It doesn't matter. As long as you're picking it up. You'll end up filling it up off this field, or I did, but I had cut the field twice. So there was twice as much. I picked up most of the field already. I'm only at 48%. So a single cutting, you might be able to get it off. not a whole lot of money it's you know about two thousand whoops I'm on <laughs> it didn't say you can't even drive there we go but yeah I'll finish picking all this up and I'll show you where to dump it be right back all right, and here we are at where you dump it all off. Now, I picked it all up, ended up with 80% full, 17,244 units. And basically, at this point, you just back it up into this little storage shed that I showed you in the very first episode. Back it on up in there. And when you get to a certain point, there it is. It'll pop up, the whole unload thing. Now, we got 20,767, so let's see what we make off of it. 20,760. 767. Alright, and we made 21, 22. So about 1,700. Yeah, about 1,700 bucks off of that. Just, just from extra, from cutting that. Now again, it's not a lot of money, but it's money. So it's one of them things you can either you can do it or not. If seventeen hundred bucks ain't enough for you, then you know don't tether it, don't bother with it, you know. But I wanted to show you how to do it so that in case you weren't sure about any process or any part of it, you you'd know how. So that was uh, doing a cutting the grass mission. Uh, it was tethering. So basically cutting grass, tethering grass, windrowing grass, picking up grass with a foraging wagon, and then dumping it off. So basically everything you have to do with, with grass. Now, hay is done the same exact way. If you're doing hay like we're doing at the low end, the early parts, you would do hay the same exact way. You would use, except you, you don't have to tether it because the machine drops it. The com, com, uh, combine drops it into ropes. So you would just follow the combine with this foraging wagon and you know scoop it all up and then take it over there and sell it. You make a couple thousand off of the field of hay also. Uh, you can only get hay from barley and from, I think barley, I'm pretty sure it's barley, but I know you get it from wheat. But uh, I think it's wheat and barley are the only two because I know canola does not. And uh, the others are all uh, uh, root vegetables, so I know they won't. But um, yeah, that's this episode. Everything on? on. Grass, grass, man, grass.
All right, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.